Hey everybody, welcome back into Universal Beauty. If you haven't uh, seen this before, we're just a community of people that uh, love makeup and products and we just like to share uh, different things. Today, um, I'm, I've got this uh, palette that I'm gonna be working with uh, that's a collab from, I don't know, last year, I think, with Moschino and Sephora. It's a little laptop palette and it's got this beautiful silver color in it and silver is such a hard color to work with that um you know we're just giving give it a whirl with silver and violet today and so if you're interested in that and um you want to see how to achieve a look like this or something similar just keep on watching all right so i've gone ahead and prepped my face in every possible way that i could so we can just go through eyes and uh, do it that way. I realize that my eyebrows look a little darker than probably that they should, but this is like such a kind of a dramatic look that I kind of did bump up the color on that. Um, I'm gonna try to stick with these Sigma brushes today, and I'm gonna be working with some of these older palettes that we've looked at before, the first one being the Moschino and Sephora palette. Um, because this is the one that has the amazing silver color in it, right here, this one. And it's called Bionic. And I'm probably gonna use a little bit of this uh, flash, flashy purple uh, magenta color in there that's also called Monitor. So um, anyway, I'm gonna be using that. Um, I always thought as soon as I saw this palette that silver is amazing, but like most people would be, well, yeah, but what do I do with it? And the other one I'm gonna be using is uh, the Morphe, um, 35P, this is the Artistry palette, and what do they call this? Something Plums, but anyway, it's like all these different purples, and so we're gonna be using that one too. Um, all right, so we might as well go ahead and get started here. And I guess for um, a transition color, I'm gonna go in with this color called Lilac. That's this one right here. And I'm just going to take my Sigma uh, E30, 36 is it? Uh, E30. I can't tell the six from the eight on this, so it could be an E38 or an E36. Going into the color lilac, just loading a little bit of that on the brush, and we're just kind of uh, going into the area right above the crease, just to put some color down. It's not really there to show up for anything specific, but just so the other colors have something to blend up against. Okay, so that's in place. I'm gonna move over to that um, Moschino Sephora palette now, and I am gonna use that purple color that we talked about that is called Monitor. It's this one right here. Okay, and for that one, oh, let's see. I don't have enough room with for everything. So I'm gonna set that to the side so I can look at these brushes a little better. And I guess I will go with my, um, let's see, I'm gonna use this Sigma Firm, Firm Blender brush. It's an E44, looks like this. Okay, I'm going into that very hot neon kind of purple. purple. And uh, I am also just kind of taking that over the top of that uh, transition color. And this is going in to the crease and where that transition color sits, which is just above, going right over the top of it with that. And you know, you wanna get some color laid down there. Okay, same on the other side. Thinking, gosh, maybe I should just go to uh, doing one eye to shave some time off of these because I mean I really do try to go as fast as I can but I hate it when they end up being like more than 20 minutes it's like really asking a lot of people to sit there and I don't think everybody has time well we kind of have time now though don't we just because <laughs> um all right so from there let's flip back over to Morphe and go into um, I know this looks a mess right now, but it's okay. We're, we're going to deal with it. There's a color here that's called uh, eggplant, and it's right there. Okay. And that one, going to do this with the cream color brush. It's an E58 
Sigma brush. It looks like this. It's kind of flatter, but, um, and it says cream blender, but you know, it doesn't have to be cream. Brushes are just suggestions. They're not rules. Okay. And now I'm going to kind of come in from the side and bring a little along the lower lash line as well. But yeah, I was thinking if I just did one eye, maybe I could cut some time off of these. I don't know. What do you think? Um, yeah, so anyway, I was uh, thinking, you know, now that a lot of us are, you know, just really kind of quarantined and confined to our home, I did uh, read a thing, though, that, you know, you should always just, like, keep showing up for yourself, even if you're working from home, you should get up and show up and, uh, you know, get dressed as usual as though you were going to see a client or, you know, other people. It's just not really good for you to get into the habit of, well, no one's going to see me, so I'm going to schlep. It's, you know, it's great. It takes a lot of uh, time off. You can sleep in later, whatever. But um, it's really good for you to keep your routine established that you've always had. It's very good for your um, mental well-being in times that are uncertain. Dedicated blending brush. Blend, blend, blend. Um, yeah, so it's a thought. You know what I mean? Just to, you know, keep keep showing up and doing your normal routine and uh, stay stay sharp with it. I think a lot of people might come out of it and realize their pants don't fit anymore. The dreaded Corona 19. You've heard of the Freshman 10. This is the Corona 19 everyone wants to avoid. Okay. And just, I just want to make this really smoked out, this purple. I think I've been doing a lot of purples lately, haven't I, you guys? Maybe I should, uh, next week I'll have to switch up to something warmer colored because, I don't know, I just, I like the way the color shows up with violets and purples. It's just, uh, it's fun. Okay, so now what am I going to do? I still want to keep it, you know, kind of uh, on the shiny side. Um, this color is called Purple Sky. It's kind of similar to the one we used in the first place, but it's just a little darker, and it's also kind of a shimmer. I'm still using that uh, Sigma Cream Blender E58 brush <clears throat> with this, and I am kind of uh, going over that edge um, where I put the deeper color. I'm kind of going over the top of that now, too. and right up on the lash line at the corner. And maybe just a little under as well. Okay, so now I do have a little bit of fallout happening. I just wanna whisk that away. And I wanna whip out my dedicated blender one more time just to give it a a once over to kind of keep those edges from getting too sharp on us. All right. And now I think if we went ahead and put silver down right now, it's a uh, it's going to kind of blend off weird, so I kind of want to put a little bit of this um uh painterly Mac paint pot uh painterly paint pot down um, just on that section of lid. I am going to go over with one of these uh, Morphe Jeffree Star uh, JS11 just to put some of that down. Um, so that silver will really pop up better. I'm not being like super, super precise, like, a, you know, a real sharp cut crease or, or half cut crease or anything like that. I am just kind of placing just this uh, over the top of some of this purple so that that silver will really pop up. Okay. Like that. 
Okay, doesn't take too long, does it? All right. And now we're going into that Sephora Moschino palette. Again, I'm gonna take, this is a very flat Sigma short shader brush. It's an E20. It's really, see it's very short and flat. And I'm just bringing that into that silver color. This thing, there's like, oh, this is like highly, highly, highly pigmented. My gosh, this is gonna be crazy. And I'm just gonna kinda pack that on to the area that we just cleared out. My gosh, it looks like a spacesuit. Okay. But wow, it's really, really a pretty silver. Now, just like when I first got this palette a long time ago, I was just like, oh my God, that silver is crazy. But again, it's just, typically it's not wearable, but it sure is fun. And we're just trying to do something where we can figure out a way to kind of make it wearable if we wanted to without it being nuts. This right now is nuts, yeah. Okay, and I'm putting a little on the bottom too to just kind of have like that inner corner thing. Okay, so now that as is is I kind of ghastly. Um, I think we want to fade that down. So this is a Sigma Pencil E30 brush. Going to go back into that original color that was, what was that called, monitor? And I'm just gonna, you know, kind of fade it on the edge of that, just so it's not a real, um, like a halo, you know, we're not doing that. And uh, I'm just kind of, well, it's not really an, an ombre kind of thing that's happening, it's just a fade in, just so it doesn't look like that really stark, stark purple, like a phew. I'm just blending it at the side there, putting them together like they fade in. Okay. And I think that that's okay in the middle, but also we wanna do something about the inner corner. I just think that's too strong to be really inner corner. So let's see what I have here. Um, this color here is called Violetta and it's this color small um, Sigma detailed, well, it's a detailed lip brush, but whatever. Um, it's, uh, well, does it say 104, L04? Yeah, it must be L lip, L04. Okay, Violetta. And this one, I am doing that same kind of thing. I'm just melding the colors together, but from the inner corner outwards. Yeah, like, I mean, I like the silver here, but I think it's too strong to just go right to that, um, directly to that inner corner. Then it really does look like, you know, spacesuit kind of makeup. Yeah, that's getting better now. Okay, and that's the good thing about these tiny little brushes. You can really direct that color exactly where you want it to go. I'm going back to my dedicated blender brush and I'm kind of just gonna sweep a few times, just I'm get, A, getting rid of some fallout, potential fallout, and also just trying to keep that blend going. I don't wanna go back and forth because I don't want it to turn to mud. I want those colors to be obviously separated and uh, going like this would just meld them all together and it would just kind of be a, a shimmer lilac all the way and we don't want that either. Okay, so again, little touch of fallout happening here. Let's just kind of correct that. When you have such strong colors like that, it's inevitable that, you know, there will be some <clears throat> fallout happening, I think. Okay, and pencil brush again. What is it? Remind yourself, E30. Going into the um, eggplant color again. That is this one right here. They're just such strong, strong purples. But I just wanna 
neaten this up a little bit right in the crease. Make that crease really kind of more obvious. There we go. All right, and colors like this, again, will call for a pretty strong eyeliner. Um, that's a dedicated blending brush again. I'm, again, I'm just not wanting any fallout to uh, happen. Okay, so let's see. I'm going to just take some liquid eyeliner, I think, here. And God, see for some people can take it all the way to the tail of their uh, their um, eyebrow. I, that for me, it's just too far. It's just way too far. So I'm kind of gonna go broad with it, but not all the way up here. I just think that's just um, you know maybe people have eyebrows that go that grow closer down or something. But I mean, I just think that is just a, too much wing. Okay. Yeah, that's about as far as I'm prepared to extend it. And the trick is always, of course, to get the other side to match. Whew. All right. Get it? Kind of got it. Sorry for going silent on you. It's a little hard sometimes to uh, talk and do this at the same time because that's when uh, inevitably when you will bump. Okay. And we are probably going to have to put lashes on because, again, a big look like this needs big lashes. First of all, we'll do a little highlighter. I'm just going to use my Too Faced Year of the Rat Diamond Light. Um, it's this one. It's really hard to pick it up on camera. These are all individually hand poured, and they've got, like, you can't see it on camera, but there's, like, pink and lilac interspersed with this iridescent white. It's really, really pretty. kind of love this a lot and uh, my Too Faced highlighter brush here. And I'm just picking some of that up and uh, I'm gonna go here. Look at that, woo! Isn't it pretty? But it's all, it's all okay if it's extreme today, we don't care. And then I usually just kind of do right under the brow bone with it too. And any other place you see fit. Line that out a little. Okay, and I haven't done any blush yet. Um, what am I thinking today? Could continue with my little um, kind of purple theme. This little Too Faced sampler I got of uh, the Love Flush. This one is called Dream Lover. I didn't get the big one because I knew I wouldn't wear this very often. It's very um, kind of pinky violet. And I like more of the warmer pinks normally, but I think just to you know tie it all in together, I'm going to go ahead and uh, try a little of this. Just flush that on there. Okay. 
and that's okay. I don't love it as much as I love my pink, but you know, it still gets the job done and um, everything. Okay, so let me just quickly run off camera and do lashes and, um, you know, fix everything to the final finish and I'll be right back. All right, so this is with lashes on and I will admit that I just wasn't loving that kind of um, lavender violet blush. So I did pink it up a little bit with a little bit of this. Um, this is the Feisty is the color and what is the brand of this? It's Kaja. Kaja. And it has this little thing where it's a sponge in the shape of a heart, which is really cute. And that is your applicator and it just goes down on this stuff. So I, I did put a little bit of that on because I just look kind of too weird with the lavender blush on. So, and then I used the 401k uh, Too Faced Gloss. Um, the 401k is the color of this and uh, it's just this kind of um, metallic -y kind of uh, violet color as well okay so you can see these lashes are pretty big um, the silver is like you know it's placed but again it's it, it could be so extreme um, I'll swatch that color for you just so you can see what I'm talking about it's like I love it so much I don't even know if this is gonna swatch correctly look at that you see what i mean and that would almost be impossible to try to wear out and around but um it's so pretty and the consistency of it is so so great that the about the only place it can do is just sit kind of right in the middle and i think anything that's too close in or you know full on is uh, you will literally look like you're in a spacesuit so um it's uh it's you can use it the funny thing is in this palette they made it one of the larger pans which kind of cracks me up like did they really think that um we were going to be using that i really like this palette anyway though it's like a little computer laptop it's got this huge mirror um with it and um you know a lot of really cool colors so the last time that I saw it, it was in the sale at Sephora. I think I paid 60 for it and it was like at 30. So, um, you know, it's, uh, it's worth a go. Looks, gosh, I'm just trying to get it so you can see the name. Okay. So worth a try. Um, you know, these colors are just fun. As I said, just keep showing up for yourself during our time of quarantine and um, dress for dinner dress to work even if you're working by yourself at home you know just get up and show up and keep on we're gonna get through this you guys and in the meantime we can keep entertaining ourselves and each other i hope you're all still doing really well and have everything that you need um leave a comment below to let everybody know what you're doing to entertain yourself while you've been at home and um, just i don't know anything that you have that you want to say to just you know uh, give everybody some encouragement to keep going. Okay, so thank you so much for joining me I will see you next one um, Probably next weekend and uh, until then sparkle heart everybody. See you later